Hello, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Cortex strikes back. Thank you, Cortex. Press start to begin. <laughs> okay. So, I will play this game 100%, and I'm excited because I played it a lot of times and I still can't get enough from Crash Bandicoot. Let's start. Let's see. <laughs> Crystals, of course. You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. <laughs> Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Okay. So yeah, this is Crash Bandicoot. You probably know, it, know him from Crash Bash if you never played Crash Bandicoot before and watched my other things, <laughs> videos. Yeah, so, but in this game, it's not like a mini game. It's like the, the normal Crash Bandicoot game, like everybody knows Crash Bandicoot from this game. It's kind of annoying how you don't have Calibrate. Uh, what? No, stop it. What did I do? <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, so in this game you have to also collect like crystals and gems, but not trophies. And in order to get all the crystals and play it 100%, you have to do... I'd have to break every box in every game and every single level. And you have to do a secret to get the, some crystals, gems. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Okay, so, um, the plot is Cortex wants me to collect the crystals, not the gems, the crystals. But, I know better. I will collect the, uh, the gems too. Because <laughs> I'm a badass. No, just kidding. Okay, and. I will do a trick here. So, to, in order to get the blue gem, you have to don't break any boxes. So I just will run to the finish and don't break any boxes. And also, this game has no analog stick um, movement, so I have to do it with the digital, which is a little bit harsh in such a game because it's like a game su uh, like Super Mario, but you can't. You can't go in like every direction, only in the eight directions uh, digital sticks have. So yeah, you can also, maybe someone of you just played Crash Bandicoot 1, you can also duck here and crawl on the floor, or you can slide, and if you do a slide jump, you jump way higher and you're a little bit faster. You also can do, no, wait. Such a spin, which is a spin that is fast, fast, fast. <laughs> what? A spin that is as fast as, as you slide and is considered a bug in the game. Okay, and this, this pits here, if you go in, reds will appear and want to kill you. And then a mushroom, what, whatever is <laughs> growing. <clears throat> 
But I don't want to do this all the time, so I will just go out here, which is considered a bug too. <laughs> and yeah, because there's, they're just annoying. So, and now, since I don't break any boxes, I will get the blue crystal. Or gem, I mean. And I don't want to finish the level because that's the finish behind there. I just will die here. So I can do the level again. I keep my crystal, like you see when I press the, the triangle down there. And I can do the level again. But this time I will break all the boxes. I don't care about Wumpus. If you get 100 Wumpus, you get a, a level up, like in Mario and coins. Oh, no, it wasn't a mystic. For a second I thought there up there was a box, but it wasn't. Okay, let's go in here. You only can get in here if you do the thing I didn't show you. The splash attack. There are even um, boxes that you only can break with the splash attack. So yeah. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> okay, can I do it? Yes. No. Okay. So, there are some boxes that are really hard to get in this game. These are one of them. <laughs> you have to be really fast, and if you don't know it, you probably won't get them. Okay, and this box destroys all the nitros in the game. You can compare it to the nitros from Crash Bash when you fight against the final boss. He's laying nitros around uh, behind him, where I can fly in, <clears throat> and it will instant, inst instantly kill you or take a mask of you. And masks are considered like a shield. You can get two masks, so you have like two shields when you get hit. And if you get a third mask, you will get invincible for a short amount of time. Which is useful, <laughs> I guess. Okay, let's get all these boxes. And the sound effect of the Wumpus is just... <sighs> okay, now I have two masks. And the mask turned like yellow. Okay, that was a <coughs> box over there. I don't want to do this. There's a box. Okay. No. God damn it. Up here. So, <coughs> and this was the first level. So, two crystals, uh, one crystal, two champs in one level. That's good. That's like 5% of the game. <laughs> there are only 25 levels and 5 bosses they have to beat. And this is the victory dance of Crash. <laughs> awesome. Well done, Crash! I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Okay. What was that with Coco? Is there something going on? Well, let's go to the next level. The... an ice level. Ice levels are always difficult. So, with this un invisibility you can... invincibility you can, like, kill everything instantly. Oh, 
Yes. That's good. Also the music. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Whoops. All the music in this game is really good. But the music in all, every Crash Bandicoot game is good. I know the 90s were just amazing. With games and music. Okay. This gem you get later. But there is a way to get the gem now. I will try to get it. No, nope, not like that. No. No. Maybe I have to... No. <laughs> Wait. Okay. No. Okay, I will get this later. Don't wanna bug you or something like that. <laughs> I just tried if I can do this because it, the only thing is... I watched it, how you can do it, but I never tried it myself. And I wanted to try it myself. And this game has terrible ice physics. <laughs> Terrible ice You will see what I mean later in the game. And you get so much health. Um, not health, life. And back here. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, obviously, this game is not planned <laughs> for me. Like I said, I played it. Uh, thousand times to know everything about this game, every secret. Oh god, what was that? <laughs> so up there. Did I get it? Yeah, now I get it. There's a switch which activates this one. There's two boxes. And I will play uh, I play this game uh, for Let's Play after Crash Bash, so I don't know when I will finish Crash Bash, but I guess, I don't know, if I upload this after Crash Bash or while playing Crash Bash. Hmm. Maybe after Five Nights at Freddy's, yes. After Five Nights at Freddy's is good, okay, we already saw that. What's now? So, you were helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystal. Okay, this guy looks like a teacher <laughs> from, his, from his school, where I was, like the high school, <laughs> with all his things he did with his face. <laughs> so, he just said we should collect the gems, not the crystals, but what he doesn't know is that we have to collect the, the crystals in order to beat the level. <laughs> well. Oh god, I totally forgot that. Well, let's do it normal. So this time trial... Wait, I can do a time trial. What am I doing? Let's do a time trial, but don't collect, like, checkpoints. Okay. I love these levels, and the music in these levels, of course. Oh no, I collected crystal. Well, I have to die anyways. <laughs> Guess it doesn't matter. Okay. 
And we got the gem. Okay, and now, what we did in the first level, we'll do here again. Die, get to the checkpoint, and collect all the boxes. That was, that was good. Normally I drive into one of the things here. Okay, die and bonus level. Okay, and I also maybe have, um, need to say these. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe I have to say why I don't play the first Crash Bandicoot first and then the second. The main reason is because the first one is like a broken Crash Bandicoot. You can only... Um, save in bonus rounds. In order to get the bonus rounds, you have to get so many boxes or find find so many um, of the faces. I don't know. It. I don't consider it to be the first part. I, I consider it to be a, like a test game. This is like the first part where you meet the sister of him and stuff like that. And like, I don't know. I mean, Cortex exists in the in the last game too, but I don't know. This game is the has the typical Crash Bandicoot um, pattern with the warp room and stuff like that. The first one just is like an adventure game. <laughs> I don't know. I go from level to level. Oh my God. Okay, so I have to activate this and go. Wow, that was good. Too far. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's say it like that. I dislike the first game. <laughs> and the first game is way harder than this game. Plus the option that you can't really save in the first game. It makes it hard to... Um, Let's play. Maybe I'll play it someday, a special or something like that. If somebody wants wants me to see, uh, wants me to play it. And I also will play the, the third one, hundred five percent. After this, third one is good. I like the second one more because I don't think Crash Bandicoot and power ups go good together, but it kind of worked, Crash Bandicoot warped, and every Crash Bandicoot after that is just garbage, so, except for Crash and Titans, I don't know, I like this game, played it on the Wii, and I like this game kind of, <clears throat> well, Let's see if someone has to tell me anything again. Yay, get everything in this level too. Nope, no dance. Oh yeah, someone is, wants to tell me something. Three crystals? Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Um, yeah, I think we'll end this episode here, and we'll see how the capturing was. Maybe I have to capture it again, which would be stupid. Let's hope I don't have to. Okay, so, if you like this episode, you can give it a thumbs up. If you don't dislike it, you will probably not have watched it till here. And, yeah. You can also check out my Twitter and Twitch and stuff like that, and you can subscribe if you like. You don't have to, don't force you to do that. Please just feel free to do it. And yeah. So, this was like a pilot. Pilot episode. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Bye.